Hey everyone, how's your exam going? I'm, I know, I mean, I hope and I know that it's going well, yes. And we are on a stage where you can count, you know, how many days are left for your science exam on just fingers of your one hand, which means it's very near. And we are trying to cover everything and we are just trying to fill all the traps, if I tell you the truth, where you can fall. That's why. From magnetic effect of electric current, there is this one topic which is, I, mean, I can't just explain much how important it is. The final revision of electric motor. And don't worry, I'll tell you different possibilities. I'll give you historical proofs. I'll give you, I'll give you all the evidences you want. Don't worry about that. So we'll discuss this. I'll make sure that you are able to visualize this. You are able to write the answer for this. You have to think of construction, working, split rings, commutator, everything. The things you have been scared of. So that's why I'm saying don't miss this and it's very important. So let's see why is this topic important and why are we making a session on this? That's why, right? Valid question. Sir, only a few days left. It's okay, right? Now listen to me. Look at this question. I mean, a big question like looks like an essay, right? So yeah, it's okay. And you have seen this question by the way before. Electric motor the device converts electrical energy into mechanical energy. It is important component used in electric devices such as fan, blower, refrigerator, computer, etc. Schematic diagram of an electric motor is given below. This was one of those case-based questions, remember? Yes. And there were questions on this. Working principle. After half of rotation of the armature, what will be the direction of forces on arms A, B and C, D? In the, if the rings C1, C2 are not connected, what would be its effect on the working of the motor? So, if you if you just try to understand, in this one question, whole motor has been asked. Whatever was possible has been asked. And yes, this was something which we created, our team created. But you know what? That's not something we are just hypothesizing over here, right? It's something which we expect might happen. So why do you expect it might happen? Because History says this, CBSC 2018, five marks question. State Fleming's left hand rule, write the principle and working of electric motor. Explain the function of the following parts of electric motor, armature, brushes and split ring. Okay, 2018, uh, this is 2022, right? Four years, yeah, okay. NCRT has it, NCRT exercise has the same question. Draw the label diagram of electric motor, explain its principle and working. What is the function of split ring in an electric motor? Okay, okay. And CRT also has it, but still not convinced. Huh? Sample paper also has it. This year's sample paper had it, right? A simple motor is made in a school laboratory. A coil of wire is mounted on an axle between the poles of a horseshoe magnet as illustrated. A diagram was given to you. And then in the example above, coil ABCD is horizontal and the battery connected is shown. Fine. For this position, state direction of force on the arm AB. Why does the current in the arm BC not contribute to the turning force on the coil? So, do you see? There is a good variety in all these questions. There are multiple questions. I would say hundreds of questions you can form on this one particular thing. Small, 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 big, big, here, 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 there. So this can happen. So that's why it becomes really or extremely important that this concept is very much clear in your head. Because if it is, at least I would say half of magnetic electric current is, is done. Rest is what those right hand thumb rule, left hand rule, right hand rule for motion. But you know what? This constitutes a very big chunk of magnetic effect of electric current. That's why. So let's see. Working principle of electric motor. What is the working principle? There are magnets. There is current flowing in the wires and there is force on those on those current carrying wires, right? So if you ask me in very simple terms, working principle. Smallest principle is force on a current carrying conductor in magnetic field. That is the, the simplest explanation of the principle. Okay, okay, that's what we have known. Which rule uh, gives you the force? Come on. And I'm not talking about the internal lingo we used, FBI or MIB. I'm talking about the way we have to write in exams. Come on. That's fine for your understanding, FBI, MIB, that's okay. But what, which one? Left hand rule, right? This is magnetic field, this is current, and this is force, right? 
and we used to call it FBI, right? So that's why. Construction wise, if you ask me, uh, this is, I would say, a simplistic diagram of a motor. Two magnets, in between there's a coil. Sometimes you call it armature, I understand. There's a confusion between, sir, what is coil, what is armature, and don't worry, we'll discuss this all. So, magnets, there is a split ring commutator. The function of split ring commutator is reverse the direction of flow of current through the coil. Because if it wasn't, your coil would just oscillate, right? That's why. Its main job is that on one side of the coil, let's say these are two sides of the coil, on one side, force is always on the upside, and second, it's always on the downside, right? This is the main work. Second, armature. Coil wound on a soft iron core to increase power and rotate when a current is passed. Okay, fine. Carbon brushes, they complete the contact. See, these are your split ring commutator. Fine. And your carbon brushes are completing the circuit with this. Okay, I understand. It becomes difficult when I try to explain by turning and twisting the hands. Carbon brush, contact between commutator and external circuit. All right. So, it's time to understand the working in style, I would say. See, until unless you visualize something, it's there's always a disconnect you feel, right? Okay, I understand that and we understand and that's why we are going to show you a simulation. Watch this simulation and you know what? Then I feel you'll be more, what do I say? Accustomed or more familiar with this motor, which seems like a diagram which is so complicated, don't worry. We'll discuss it nicely, clearly. Come on, let's watch this simulation. All right, so this is the simulation. Now watch. This is not what, you know, we used to see in, in papers, in books. It looks different, no? Yeah, it looks different. That's true. This is what a real motor looks like, right? So, don't worry. I'll show it to you. Let's uh, separate things, you know. If I tell you, you want to see the armature. So, armature is what? It's that when you put that soft iron core around the coils, it's the framework giving sturdiness to this coil windings and everything, right? That is what we call as armature. Uh, I used to remember it like armature. It's more like armor. Armor is for protection. So this armature is for protection to give, uh, you know, solidness to this whole coil system. So that's why this is armature. Now, if you want to see, if I remove this, you want to see the commutator and brushes. This is commutator. The split ring commutator. You see, it's like a rod kind of thing, but split in between. Fine. Nice. Then you want to see brushes. These are the carbon brushes. Commutator can rotate, but brush will not. Don't worry. I'll show it to you in an animation. Next, windings. This is what the winding looks like. So this is not exactly what we thought. We were like, we are habitual to the rectangular winding. That's okay. But I'm just giving you a glimpse of the real world here. And don't worry, the animation will prove everything to you, right? So this is, and if I show it everything to you, this is what a motor looks like. Fine. Now, in animation, watch this. And this is very important. So what is happening? You ask first, what is Excel? You see this black thing. So till here, your motor is rotating. But who is, what do I say, uh, uh, communi communicating this rotation to the outside? Because in reality, this box is closed till here, if I tell you the truth. It's closed inside. You will only see a fan rotating and a rod rotating. That rod is what? It's axle. Fine. Next, you see uh, these green arrows. These green arrows are showing you these, what? what? Showing you current, correct? They are showing you the current. Fine, and this pink arrow, this pink arrow is showing you the force. These yellow lines, north to south is the magnetic field, and here, the left-hand rule, right? The Fremix left-hand rule. Magnetic field, current, and force, FBI, simply, right? Now, you might ask, sir, what was the use of commutator? We said after half rotation, its job is to reverse the current. So if you notice, watch, watch closely. On this side, 
on right side it's always downwards on the left side it's the force is always upwards right which means which means direction of current is always downwards on the right side who is doing that it's the work of commutator you will notice just just watch this very carefully this segment you see this is what a commutator is helping you with reversing the flow of current after every half rotation fine got this all right now you might ask sir carbon brush what about carbon brush do you see carbon brushes are static here giving a smooth contact who is rotating the commutator is rotating fine all right and that is the whole animation the current flowing and everything is all good if you know the basics it's all fine just look at this animation and look at it again and again and visualize things in your mind all right so if we go for labeling the parts so can you tell me which one is this one this is the brush fine the yellow one is commutator these are windings and this is the armature right these are magnets for you i would i would say don't call it stator magnet it's okay if you don't call them just magnets are fine right so this is what the whole simulation is about important right able to visualize how the motor works how the how the commutator revolves how the how the brushes work right so this is really really important don't be confused with this fairly simple but you know more visualizing based phenomena so pay attention to this all right now that we have understood how to visualize things let's understand how to write things right come on let's go back and see how to write answers yes nice right it feels great to see these things working in really really nice synced manner and animations really help and i have always told this to you this is our strength and we are not afraid to use our strength right we want you to visualize concepts and that's what we do best fine so today i feel that simulation helped you a lot so let's see now that we have understood how things work in your mind how to write them on paper because it's okay if you have all these ideas ideas in your head and you don't know how to put them on paper exam needs writing skills right all these ideas needs to come down on paper properly let's focus on that motor and its principle how will you write this electric motor electrical device that converts electrical energy into mechanical energy so what is electric motor motor what a motor does it rotates how you give it electricity it gives you mechanical energy right so it's more like conversion of electrical energy into mechanical energy fine the principle of motor is that a current carrying conductor experiences a force in a magnetic field fine till here it's okay right it's okay idea was what is motor a device converting electrical to mechanical energy how it works the principle it's force on a current carrying conductor in a magnetic field simple till here it's okay fine diagram so whatever you have seen till now it's more 3d and you are not artist i mean i accept that i'm a bad artist than you that's why think of diagram which is easy to make right go simple but go neat that's important so label diagram of electric motor if you see over here we have two magnets right these are two magnets in between we have given the coil or armature if you call it right so a b c and d i have just labeled it this is the dc source a battery the circuit connecting wires we have carbon brushes x and y and you have basically a uh, labeled them over here and split rings split rings you can show it like a uh, two c's you know a mirror c over here like this and that's how this simple diagram will i in my suggestion will give you full marks don't worry about that no need to make all those 3d diagrams and everything go simple go neat that's important fine examiner should understand that you know this and you know how to put it on paper clearly that's important fine okay next construction of electric motor because whatever questions we discuss no and right now what i'm discussing all the answers are in this discussion construction of electric motor in the simulation itself we saw magnets right we call them stator magnets so that's what magnetic poles two heavy magnets placed with the unlike poles facing each other all right this is what is constituting the magnetic field in between fine rectangular coil a rectangular coil a b c d of insulated copper wire placed between the magnets go step by step whatever you have seen you are remembering and explaining what is that fine split rings okay to this uh, to this joint c shaped rings p and q these act as a commutator split ring commutator we call it right so this term is important don't forget this term all right axle 
axle is something you might not have seen there, but actually coils rotate, but how to get this motion out? You might have seen in, in, uh, in motors, or if you have a small toy car itself, there's a small DC motor in that. You see that small, uh, s uh, what do I say? Steel kind of small rod comes out, no? That is axle. Inside whatever is happening, outside what do you see? That just steel rod rotating. You connect a tire to it, it rotates. So this is what axle is uh, just helping you to transfer that rotation outside to something else. That's what axle does, fine, okay. So a split rings are placed on the axle which can rotate freely. Brushes, the external edges of the split rings are connected to conducting brushes X and Y. Brushes are simple thing like Jado type side, which completes your circuit, right? There's a commutator and you want brushes. Brushes are fixed, commutator moves, fine, okay, till now. Next, working. So working is something which I would say, you know, break all this thought process into parts. Think how to write this thing structurally. Here, the coil ABCD is placed in a magnetic field produced by the magnet. The direction of magnetic field is from north to south. When a DC source is added, current flows in the coil. So till here, if, if, I, if I tell you, whenever you have to go for this, I would say draw a diagram, then start writing the construction and the working and use the, the notation or the labeling as you have used in the diagram itself, right? That's important. Second, in working, first you are telling what is there. You are not telling how it is worked. You are telling first what is there, right? So when a DC source is added, current flows in the coil. Till here, you have just created an opening for your statements for the working, right? Current has started to flow because then only action will happen. No. Direction of current in AB segment of coil is from A to B, right? Fine. By Fleming's left-hand rule, this you have written intentionally to just show off, I would say, right? You know how the force is being calculated, which direction force is moving. So force will act upwards out of the page in the coil. Similarly, in CD segment, the force will act downward inside the page. These two force together will create a rotating effect and hence the coil will rotate. Right, all right, okay. Working of electric motor, the next half is, after half rotation, positions of AB and CD will interchange. Split ring commutator reverses the direction. And that's happens, no? AB was here, CD was here. After half rotation, AB goes here and CD comes here, but you want force still to go up, right? So that's why who helps the split ring commutator? Because the positive current always, whatever, whatever side AB or CD, whatever is here, current is always going inside. Fine, that's how. This ensures the direction of a rotation of motor does not reverse. So a split ring commutator reverses the direction of current in the coil every half rotation. See, this word is important, every half rotation, right? This can be asked multiple ways. This ensures that coil keeps rotating in the same direction, all right? So I would say, if you have understood two things, if you have visualized and if you have understood how to write this visualization on paper, my job is done because that's what I came here for. So don't worry, this is an extremely important concept. And my suggestion to you is practice the diagram. Before going to exam, practice the diagram. Even if it comes, it will come for five marks if the diagram comes, if all these things come. And it's a very easy five marks if you know all this thing clearly, right? So that's why I'm saying, don't leave this topic. Please, please do not leave this topic because if it comes, it'll hurt you the most. So please, isko revise karna, all right? Isko revise karna hai to everyone. Bina revise kare nahi jana hai. So that's why I'm saying, revise it, go to exam, feel confident, and you know what? Rock the exam. There's nothing in this. Two chapters, two easy chapters, and we have done it all. You have it everything here. Just structure it, be confident. You know what? You'll rock it. And for months, we are saying this. We have got you covered. Yes, don't worry about it. You have got it. We have got you covered. Trial class, it's okay. Give the exam first. After that, see the trial class. And like, share, subscribe. That's something which we always say. And you always do, thankfully. All right. Thank you for joining. All the best for your exam.